Sit down. Crawl. Crawl. What do you think of my pants? And that's the bit of the females look right there, so. Trees are no joke. Okay guys, come. Come on, come. Come on, Kai. Good job, Kai. Come on, come. Sit. Come. Sit. Shake. Hey. Spin. Sit. Down. Here's how this works. You gotta have a negative that goes to something metal that's staked in the ground as your negative. Then you gotta have the positive, and this is where I'll tie the actual rope and fence that will electrocute 
bears, humans, whoever touches it. So these two nipples here is energy going out to the fence. But this is energy coming in from the battery. And they just have it set up where you have a positive negative wire. So I happen to have some little alligator clips that I just spliced onto the positive negative. So now I can just take these alligator clips and clip them onto the car battery. That will send energy into the device. And the black and red here will send energy out. All right, super excited to have the fence up. Uh, it was kind of difficult because I'm picturing a bear climbing up on the boat and trying to get over. So I had to electrify the boat and uh, kind of think like a bear for two days. I think I got it. Let's uh, turn it on and then I got to touch it and see if it works. Apparently once every six months, that's how often you should charge this battery. That's pretty cool. So let's see if it uh, turns on here. That battery is accepting the charge from the solar panels. That's the backup for other projects. And this battery gives energy to the electric fence. It's clicking. <laughs> All right, let me go find Nicole and uh, she can touch it in three different places to make sure that it's on. No, I am not. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> We're gonna try the grass technique for seeing if the fence is on. So this one we know is on, it's around the yurt. And inch our way closer until we can feel the electricity pulsing. Oh, I felt it. <laughs> Your turn. Okay, let's see if you can feel it. Yeah, I can feel it. You can? Uh-huh. What it's does very, it feel like? It's very faint. Um, I don't know, it's just like a pulse through your thumb and your index finger just like is pulsing, but it's not like, it's not like, ah, get it, you know, get back, but. <laughs> Bring it back, guys, bring it back, let's go. Sit, shake, down, 
down, down, crawl, crawl, sit. Good boy. Okay, skip up. Okay, come. Sit. Kumail. Spin. Sit. Kai, spin. Sit. Good boy. Okay, sit. Puma, spin. Kai, spin. Sit. Spin. Sit. Down. Crawl. Crawl. Sit. Good boy. Spin. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. He's so smart. Okay, what you working on? Hey, so, uh, the old cat tower that we built, I mean, it's not, it's not looking feng shui anymore, so we're gonna try to build a little spiral cat staircase into the loft pillars. Cool. So I'm gonna use this, um, these smaller rounds that we milled. Um, you'll see. Okay. How does that feel? Strong enough for Reishi's fatness? Yeah. What do you think of my pants? What pants are you wearing? Your pants. Those are my pants? Yep. I got these jeans that are way too tight for me and they... Too tight for me, too big for Nicole. Way too big for me, but I ran out of jeans. So I had to cut them and... Yeah. Well, the next sunny day was laundry day. Yeah. So... Spin around, let's see the back. They look cute. Whatever. Oh my god, I feel like a... I don't even know. <laughs> you should like low ride them and then show your underwear like a freaking skater. Whatever. <laughs> Get some Calvin Klein underwear. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So push um push up a little bit. There. Go. Go to Nicole. Why are you being so frumpy? Just go, look at this shit. <laughs> what is happening? Where is she? Hey. Babes. Hey. You're not a slug. I'm a slug. Let's go. Oh shit. <laughs> you stupid. Stop. I'm gonna let go. What is he doing? I don't know. Oh God. <laughs> Come here. Go up here, Reggie.
ready? Yeah. Pull it forward till I say stop. Currently, Jake and I are practicing downing trees. We're practicing because we have to chop down some trees that are threatening the year and the next couple projects that we are working on, we have to down some trees that are by the year. So we really want to make sure that we're being safe. We don't want to have a tree fall on the year because that would really suck. But um, so I'm sitting in the truck and I'm going to pull the tree that Jake is chopping right now. It's going to be very nerve wracking when we actually down the ones that are close to the yurt. I'm sure we'll do great because we're practicing. I got the dogs with me so they're out of harm's way. So that's what we're working on now, is practicing and then downing the ones that are threatening the yurt so we can continue on with some major projects that we have, so. Trees are no joke. <laughs> they are very big <laughs> and very powerful and they can really do some damage if you're not careful, so. Isn't that right, Puma? Puma. Come on, buddies. best onions of all time. Just harvest like a couple and not hurt the plant. What do you think? I think it looks awesome. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> See low tide is like a whole different world, right? For sure. It's not even extreme low tide right now, but um, we got a couple clams, mussels, oysters, 
and the squirting clams are squirting right here too. So we'll just harvest a couple. Puma and Kai love these. I'm not here alone, I bring Puma with me as my buddy, but today Nicole's with me, so Puma and Kai are back um, keeping Pro the yurt safe from bears. And yeah, protecting the yurt. We're gonna bring them home breakfast. So, prawn time. Maybe on our next uh, boat upgrade we get a downrigger. Yeah, for sure. What, you don't like that workout? Yeah, I'll lose my workout if I had the battery powered one. It's only 350 feet down, so. <sighs> See, if they're female and they have eggs, we throw them back, but it's a good size one. Crab time, let's go. So, also wanna throw back the females of these guys. And that one's the right size to be legal, and it's the male. Six inches or bigger, so this one's a pretty big one. Okay, and this one is a female, so I can kind of tell by the shape, but then you turn them over and, and that's the way that the females look right there, so we're gonna throw the female back. Here you go, little miss. Go ahead, babies. There <laughs> she goes. <laughs>
stay. Okay, come. Sit. Spin. Sit. Puma, good boy. Kai, good boy. Sometimes if they don't open all the way, the dogs can't <laughs> open it up, so. So waste your muscle on that. Sit. Okay, here. Take it. Thanks.